Hey y'all, today we are talking New Malones, August 24th. Nice to get off the Delta and actually fish a lake again. Yeah. Kind of getting burnt out on Delta. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you guys who are watching these videos are also getting burnt out on Delta. <laughs> um, so like I said, New Malones, we purposely ran to there and uh, hadn't been there since January, so it's been a minute. Um, weather for that was very, uh, what's that word they use? Inclement. Yeah. Where uh, one minute it's uh, nasty, windy, the next minute it stops being windy, the next minute it's raining in August. Yeah. And uh, from what I understand, there was snow in Truckee. Yeah. So weather Dusty. was a bit, a little bit all over the board, and uh, so was the fishing. Yeah. So great um, day to go pick to go to the lake. Yeah, a great, couple hours away. Yeah, a great day to make a long trip. Yeah. Um, weather was, or not sorry, weather. Water was 75 degrees, 74, somewhere around there as yeah. you moved around, um, and uh, it was pretty much cloudy all day, except for the end of the day. But uh, let's get to it. So starting off the day, we decided to go to a uh, main lake point. I actually tried to go to some offshore humps to find out they were way too deep for what we remember and uh, ran to a main lake point. And I picked up the, I think I was started with Sorry Steve first. I'm not sure. Pretty sure I went with Sorry Steve watermelon candy um picked up a fish on drop shot uh they're schooled really good in the mornings off the end of that point and um they're pushing bait around i know you picked up a little bit better stuff yeah i i wasn't gonna go drop shot right away i picked up a x uh d10 uh i don't even know what the color is it's a tennessee shad yeah tennessee shad i threw that right away i was getting uh follows and then finally i had one that that ate it. I brought it to the boat and it, it came off right at the boat. Yeah. But uh, I did get one to eat it, uh, but there was a lot of follows on it. Yeah. So I switched over and went to the A-Rig, right? Um, I was throwing the um, Rainbow Shad in 3.3 because, you know, New Malonis is a spotted bass lake. They, they're, they like the little smaller baits. So Three threes and then the 2.8 teasers on a, a A rig, throwing it out there, letting it sink down, and then just slow rolling it. Um, I was getting nipped on it, and then a couple good pops, but no fish hookup, and then a really good hit, and it was line burner, like li line like burner, yeah, ripped him in there. You can, you, all you heard was like the line ripping. Yeah, it was. Uh, a good fish. James thought at first it might have been two fish because there's that many fish that were on the screen, like cruising around, eating. There's there's hundreds of fish in the area. Um, yeah, you could see on the forward scan when he had it hooked, it just looked funny. Um, and I was like, well, maybe you have two. Yeah. And it actually ended up being one fish uh, double hooked himself. Yeah. And it was three, 304, yeah, three, three something. Right in that three pound class. Um, but a spotted bass. And it hit it, hit it hard. Um, and I, I got a lot more short strikes after that, but there's a lot of following, right? Like I, I actually had one with lighter uh, jig heads on it. So it, what, it wasn't what I should have been throwing. I should have thrown one with, you know, quarters or something like that because we're fishing in like 30 foot of water. Yeah, 20, 20 to 30 is, was the target range for, for depth off of, that and pretty much everywhere for right. the whole day was pretty much target 20 to 30. Um, after, uh, since these are a little bit harder to come by, once I lost one of those, I actually switched over to the Morning Dawn Chartreuse Tail and um, the three and a half or four and a half inch um, and caught some more fish with that. And then uh, four giggles on all of it, I yeah. picked up the old turd, the Ned Rig. This is uh, in the deal. And uh, I caught a fish on it. Yeah. And I really only did that just to prove that I can catch a fish on a Ned well, Rig. 
build confidence and, and there was that many fish down there that, yeah. that uh, it could build confidence, right? Yeah, and then uh, after about a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe yeah. an hour at most, um, they just started disappearing. Yeah, you so could you could you could see they were all active and pushing around, and the bait was up there. And then that bait kind of calmed down, and then the fish calmed down, and they sucked to the bottom, and then they slowly slid off and disappeared. Yeah. Um, they we were able to get bit after they got into that mood, but after that that first hour of the day it definitely calmed down and that bite got really tough so so would that talk to you would that like in your mind start thinking about like those feed windows yeah you got feed windows you got like that timing of the day so uh a couple of guys that are in the club with us uh they came up separate and they actually came like 10 minutes after that feed window so they struggled all day they ended up catching fish the back half of the day but um, they definitely missed that front window, and we happened to be there for it. Yeah. Um, so uh, basically what we were doing after that was we found out that most of the bites or most of the fish were in like 20 to 30 foot of water on rock points. So we started bouncing around to different rock crops and all that stuff and was fishing through there. And again, drop shot in the sorry steve or the morning dawn was what was working the best out of that and basically dead sticking it yeah i'm still so. getting strikes on the a rig uh throwing around uh but mainly if the wind was blowing is when i was getting those those short strikes um i had a couple teasers get ripped off right smaller fish um, yeah hit those smaller and baits and so if you're sitting on a school on one of those points, you can actually kind of see them suck to the bottom. Yeah. And then that wind would pick up and it would actually raise them up. So it's almost like they wanted that wind. Um, I think most of the fish we caught on drop shot, there was wind going at that time. Yeah. Uh, we ran up the creek. We didn't stay out on main river or main body of water. Uh, that wind just was not fun. Yeah. And it's, you know, if you're out fun fishing, who wants to fish in three foot waves? Correct. Or two, two three foot waves. Um, ran up the creek or started to run up the river kind of area and just hit a bunch of different rock points, major rock points. The fish were all there and they were schooled up in those areas. Just they were being stingy. Yeah. It might have been the weather changing back and forth too because at one point in time it got super cloudy and then it went sunny and... You know, it could be that post-storm yeah. front type weather to where they are a little finicky, the, the pressure changing. Um, but there was definitely fish there and there's definitely fish to be caught. Yeah, so that, like, like I said, that rock points, 20 to 30. Um, they might be moving around the depth on that, but for Malones, typically this time of the year, it's kind of that 20 to 30 on rock points anyways. Yeah. Um, Biggest fish of the day was that three pounder. There was another two pounder. That was the Ned, Ned rig. rig, actually. Yeah. Um, for the most part, it seemed like they were all eating up. Yeah. They were not eating off the bottom. I was actually kind of surprised that I caught a fish on Ned Rig. Um, you threw some other bottom stuff too, right? Like right. I threw the uh, Bass Union darter head. Um, I threw that in the uh, Margarita Mutilator, and I also threw it in the uh, morning dawn and they would follow it down, but they wouldn't pick it up. Yeah, I, I threw around a jig rig with a uh, watermelon red kinky beaver, um, reactions and innovations. But it, again, they look like they're looking up and yeah. it, it was falling, I guess, too fast for them. Yeah, the, the, um, now, I think if you change the weather on that, a lot of those fish yeah. would turn on and a lot of those bites would come on. So it, don't be discouraged about, for our report, it, like I said, that first half hour, 45 minutes was, was awesome. Was awesome. It was, it made the whole day. If we yeah. didn't have that section, it just would have sucked completely. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they're definitely out there. Uh, rock points, 20 to 30, can't say it enough. Um, 
and just pay attention for those feed windows to when they're actually willing to go eat the other stuff, the more fun stuff. Otherwise, you got drop shot, um, Ned rig, Ned rig uh, just any of that stuff that kind of goes low and slow. And another thing is if you had like forward scan or, or anything like that, throwing that A rig and bringing it across about five foot off the bottom, you could see fish rise up. Right? Yeah, you, like you could find fish very fast in New Malonis yeah with like an a rig if you had like forward scan and there was some rock points that we'd throw that a rig across nothing pulled up at all yeah and then you'd move to a more major point and you'd pull a bunch of stuff up they just wouldn't eat yeah at least for that now you'd probably go back heck even today or you know that while you're watching this you could probably go back and and pick up those yeah. fish. the weather is increasing uh the temperature yep it's supposed, uh, to, be, it's supposed to go back to the mid 90s high 90s yeah. and i think we're in 60s like we had our jackets and uh yeah. cold weather gear on most of the day so yeah that, that tells you what the what the day was about yeah so um like i said malones always awesome always produces fish yep. uh now you know where to head to where to start looking from um is that it anything else on that no one? that's about it but uh, yeah, if you have any comments, questions, you can ask them down below. You can always hit me up on Instagram. And uh, until next time, I hope you get them. There's a skeeter on my Peter. There's another on my brother. There's a skeeter on my Peter. Flick it off, flick it off. There's a dozen on my cousin. Flick them off.